Number 12 then from the 2017 Mathematics of Mechanics, up to eight marks this time. So this is part of the final six here. Should be the final six big ones, you could say. A body of mass 750 grams is attached to a light elastic string of natural length 50, modulus of elasticity 150 newtons, something about that, and it hangs vertically from the ceiling. So let's just model this thing. So here's the string of natural length, that means not under tension, 50 centimetres. It says its modulus of elasticity is 150 newtons. There's something about that I'll mention late, later. The body's got a mass of 750 grams, so when you put it onto it, I'll put a wee break here, this is going to extend by a certain amount until it reaches equilibrium. And there would be the body of mass, 750 grams. And A is just find this extension. Once it's settled down, once it hangs in equilibrium, find this extension for two marks. I'll just mention this modulus of elasticity there, because those dimensions imply something's already been done with relation to the dimensions of that string, of that material. The modulus of elasticity is the constant of proportion for that material between the force you apply to it, the proportional force, so the force divided by the cross-sectional area, known as the stress, and the extension it produces, but the relative, the proportional extension, compared to its original length, known as the strain. That's what that modulus of elasticity actually is, also known as Young's modulus. But that means that, since those are the same units, the dimensions for the modulus of elasticity should be force over area. It should be newtons per square metre. Notice there's no per square metre here. So that would apply in this case, they've taken care of the area of that string by adapting the value of E so it is now just the force. So that's just one of the forms of Hooke's Law. So, model this situation for equilibrium. Well, there's the weight of the object and there's the corresponding tension in the string. So taking the sum of the forces in the y direction, let's just take them as upwards. We've got this then. Well, with the tension of the string, minus the weight should come to zero because it's not moving, it's in equilibrium. Now, the tension in the string will be given by Hooke's law. So the tension in the string will be given by 150 times the extension, which I don't know, divided by the original length, but it has to all go into metres, which will be a 0.5. The weight will be the mass, which is 0.75 times 9.8, and that should come to zero. So there, there's only one unknown. You can find E from that. Now the first mark, whoops, is for considering the balance forces, and the second mark is just for working it out. So that means E is going to be, without doing any of the calculations yet, just taking these across, that'll be 0 0.75 times 9.8, divided by the 150, but re-multiplied by the 0 0.5. Put it into my calculator, although obviously these things all cancel out nicely. Numerically, that's half of that. That puts another two underneath, so it's going to be a quarter of this, but I've got my calculator. Gives you 0 0.0245 metres. Not sure if they want you to rewrite that just as centimetres again. So 2.45 centimetres for the second mark. Part B. A body is released from a position two centimetres below the equilibrium, so it's been pulled down and released, and you have to find its motion x metres when x is a displacement below the equilibrium position. So there's the new diagram there. Now, the tension is going to increase, that's why I've written T2. So, in this case, what's the modelling of it? So, some of the forces in the y direction, this time I think I'll go down the way, because that's the way the displacement's been measured. So, you've got going down the way, you've got the weight, minus the tension, doesn't equal zero, because 
you were holding it down at the two centimetres and then you released that so that tension is greater than the weight and that will result in an acceleration m times a just using x double dot for a right what are these figures even just writing that there's your first mark for realizing there's an unbalanced force so it's going to accelerate well the weight was 0 0.75 times 9.8 the new tension is going to be 150 times now the extension's increased it's going to be the 2.45 plus that x 0 0.20245 plus x divided by the natural length which was 0 0.5 and that will equal mx double dot now actually this part here was the calculation you did in the first part so that should cancel out that part there just leaving this part which is of course negative 300x equals 0.75 x double dot I don't know if you're allowed just to jump in with that I'll just put all the figures down so so you've got 0.75 times 9.8 that's just three quarters of it 7.35 minus now it'll be no surprise when you do this part 150 times that over that magically not really comes to 7.35 now the extra bit, if you like, the extra bit of tension that's going to cause the acceleration, which is, you don't need to calculate, of course, because that's just going to be 300x equals 0.75x double dot. But those figures then, of course, was the second mark. So I'll just rewrite this now. So I've got this. 0.75x double dot, 0 0.75, I'll just switch to that now, x double dot, equals 300x, negative 300x. So x double dot equals, that's three quarters, four upon three times it is minus 400x for the third mark. Of course, it did say that it wasn't quite the fourth mark. It did say show it moves with simple harmonic motion. So does that mean you have to make a statement that the acceleration is proportional to the displacement and directed towards the centre of equilibrium? So we can say simple harmonic motion means you've got this. X double dot equals negative omega squared X. So it is simple harmonic motion where omega squared equals 400. Now part two, find the speed of the body when it's 0.5 centimetres above the point of release for two marks. There's the point of release, two centimetres below the equilibrium mark, and the equilibrium mark is where x is measured from. So it means x isn't going to be 0 0.5. If that's 0 0.5 there, x will be the balance of it. It'll be 2 minus 0 0.5, which is 1.5 centimetres. Well, to find the velocity, you're just going to use that formula. V squared is omega squared, A squared minus X squared, which is the amplitude, which is obviously 2 in this case. Let's just restate the figures. We already knew that. Omega squared was 400, just by comparing it to this. Don't need the actual value of omega, don't need to do square roots. A was 2 centimetres. So A is 0 0.02 metres. And X is... It's the distance down from that equilibrium position, which is 0 0.015 metres. So you just put that together. So V squared is going to be 400 times 0 0.02 squared minus 0 0.015 squared. Then just do the square root. So there'll be one mark for getting as far as this, using the appropriate formula and putting in the appropriate figures. Now it's just this. And when you press the buttons, you get 0 0.26457 and so on. So I'll round that off to 0 0.265 metres per second. Now it could be plus or minus, depends on which way it's going. It just says it's 1.5 centimetres below the mark. So it'll be going at this speed upwards just after release but on the way back down at that point I'll be going to that speed downwards that's why I can't really put a sign in. 
And there's the last mark. And for part C, on another occasion the body is pulled down 3 centimetres below the equilibrium position. Explain why the subsequent motion is not simple harmonic. Well, you've just pulled it too far. On its way up, as it passes the equilibrium position, it's going to go beyond the initial unstretched value of it, so there'll no longer be any tension there, so it'll no longer be in simple harmonic motion. Just a case of how you want to write that out. The obvious thing is, 3 centimetres is greater than 2.45 centimetres, so the mass will move above the unstretched point and the string will no longer be in tension. So, not in simple harmonic motion. Last mark of the whole question.